What's up guys and welcome back to the addiction as always my name is morphine and today I kind of wanted to break down a little bit more of the rock launch now I've been hearing that you guys have been having a little bit of problems um, some people aren't really understanding um, how it's working or how we do it specifically so I kind of want to sit down with you guys personally and show you guys exactly how we do it so in the demonstration video there was a couple things that we left out and that on my part is my bad so this time around we are going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on just how you guys can do it every single time so what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down how exactly we go about this and I'm gonna take it a little bit slower this time because in the demonstration video it was a little bit too fast and I understand so first things first we need a bow any bow will do you can pull it out and look at it nice nice big good looking bow so what we're gonna do is we are going to find a rock now it can't just be any rock now in the video I didn't really say that but this time around I'm actually going to demonstrate which rocks we can use so for instance these rocks are a little bit too straight meaning that if we walk to the edge we can't actually get on the slope it kind of I don't know it takes us around the edge of the rock and we can't get on the slope of the rock so we have to find rocks that have edges so this one is a little bit of the same I don't know it's, it's kind of the same way but if you look at an angle you can actually see in the middle of the rock it has that angle right there so this rock you could probably launch off of all right so let's get into how you're gonna do it so first off let's find our destination so I want to end up going way out over there where there's a temple it's a very good location it sets us up for part of the speed run and it's one of the areas that we'll travel to so what we'll do is we will find a rock that has a good angle this rock is the rock that we used for our speed run so as you can see we can actually get to the slope of the rock we can sit there and actually get on the slope of it it's pointing directly in that direction but it'll work with the angle that we we point at so first of all we need to crouch you can hit C or whatever crouch button it is on the controller I don't personally use controllers so I don't know which input it is I apologize so you're gonna hit C and you're gonna crouch now while you're doing this you can actually aim because it kind of magnifies your your location of where you're gonna go besides standing up that's the reason why crouching before we go into the launch is very useful so we're gonna look at the destination that we want to go we're gonna go way over there at the temple so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up but before we do we can actually quick save here so if you hit f5 to make a quick save you'll notice at the very bottom corner of the screen there's a quick save symbol that's indicating that you can come back and quick load if you mess up the launch all right so we're gonna take this angle of the rock right here and we're gonna point it in that direction we're gonna use that slope to get us there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna aim okay and we're gonna walk up we, you can actually adjust your angle too if you'd like by pressing the up or down key to give yourself a, a better angle at where you're gonna go just make sure that you only hold an input on W or straight so you don't mess up your launch but this will actually give you a better angle at where the rock is so you're not losing your place okay so let's aim okay we're gonna go for that temple if you want to you can aim down that's up to you for me personally I don't have to and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and aim and we're gonna move towards the rock when you reach your destination of the rock I'll reset again when you actually reach there you could you have to stop and then let go but you have to do it before a 1.5 second uh, period or else it won't work see if I move around and I stop you'll notice that my character kind of jumps forward a little bit that is the glitch working and allowing you to clip through the rock 
So we're going to once again look at our destination. We're going to use the rock. And we're going to walk forward. We're going to aim. And there you go. Alright. Let's reload and we'll do that again. Okay. So we're going to look at our destination. We're going to walk towards our rock. We're going to hold out our bow right when we get there. And then we're going to release our aim as we get to the slope of the rock. Now, sometimes if you walk towards the rock and you end up unsheathing your your weapon or not aiming down sights, you won't actually launch. Um, sometimes if you stop before you get to the, the slope of the rock and it doesn't launch you, it's because you're stopping just a bit too early. You wanna actually get to the slope of the rock before you release aim down sight. So I'm going to hold aim down sight I'm going to point at the direction I want to go in. I'll walk there, but before I get to that rock, I want to make sure that I'm holding aim down sight. I'm going to get there, hit the slope, stop, and then release. That's all you have to do. It's just as simple as that. Now I'm going to show you something a little bit different. Now we're not actually going to be launching off of a rock per se, but we're actually going to launch off the hill. Now hills in this game also have very sharp angles. As you can see, if we crouch and look at this rock, you see the jagged an angles that are in this hill. Kind of get back a little bit. You'll see how it's kind of having this almost rock-like um, layer on top of the grass. We can actually launch from that. Now, some of them, like this one, is a little bit too smooth to launch from. Not all rocks can be launched from. Matter of fact, this rock right here is way too smooth and launching from this would it can be possible but it's almost impossible there's only a certain amount of angles that you can actually get through so we're going to look at our destination i want to go to the temple of aphrodite and we're going to we're going to go from here so i'm going to look at that that general location you can quick save if you'd like and i'm actually going to go i'm going to hold down i'll reset real quick i'm going to hold down my aim down sight and I'm actually using my compass at the very top if you look at your compass at the top of the screen you can use that to aim as well you don't actually have to use your crosshair to aim if you use your compass that is also a very precise way of getting to your location so I'm going to use that compass to look around that general lo location and I'm just going to walk to the hill and I'm gonna let go now sometimes you'll actually get clipped on the hill. That's fine, but the launch is still working. So we're going to reset and we're gonna try again. Now don't get uh, too frustrated if it doesn't end up working the first time around. It's fine, just keep working at it. If you see that clipping happening, that means it's working. All right, we're gonna do this again. Oop, didn't, I missed it that time. There we go. And it's just like that. Now when we get over here, I'll show you a couple more launch locations that um, may look promising, but not all of them will work. So be patient. Matter of fact, finding certain rocks to work with the rock launch is more difficult than actually finding precise launches from specific rocks that we use in the speedrun. It actually takes us a very long time to find specific rocks to rock launch from. It didn't happen overnight, I can definitely tell you that. So, in my rock launch video, we actually use a rock right here next to Temple of Aphrodite. It's one of the most famous rocks in the speedrun, and this rock actually takes you to a bunch of multiple locations. It is useful in so many different ways, it's, it's just crazy what this rock can do. It has a crazy slope. You can see there's a slope going up right here, and then there's another one actually going off to the right a little bit as it kind of bends. So you can use this in many different ways. Like right now, I'll I'll just save real quick, and then I'll just run up this rock, and bam, there we go. Like, it was that simple. 
Now, that's not entirely where we want to go, nor I don't think we'll actually get that far. But it's a very useful location to get multiple launches from. Now, a bunch of different rocks vary in size and shape, but if they don't have too much of a defined angle to them, like I said, you won't get a launch from it. So this rock right here is very hard, and you'll notice if you crouch on it, sometimes it can be very hard to kind of move around it. So you can try to launch from these, but most of the time, they won't work. If you actually try to hold down your aim down sight and try to get on the rock, it's almost impossible. You actually get stuck in certain areas. And these rocks right here, they're a little bit too soft. They do have refined edges, as you can see, but they're a little bit too soft. You won't actually clip into them. So playing around with specific types of rocks, it's going to be more of a lesson to yourself in trying to understand how to get those launches to work in specific areas that would make it more, uh, I guess, more useful for yourself to get across the map. So, um, one more demonstration before we go. You can actually launch from these flower petals and haystacks. If It's kind of funny, because if you look, they also have refined edges as well. So going up to them, you can actually launch from them. It's really hilarious. Um, most of them are pretty inaccurate. Um, you have to stop on the right angle and slope of, that, um, of those flower petals or haystack, whatever you're using. To actually get a good launch from it it's it's very fascinating and we haven't quite gotten a lot of it down yet but as you can see i am super high in the air and yes there there is a spot where you will start desyncing um, you can't go too high and you can't go too far if you end up doing that you will die so you have to hit a solid surface like another building another rock uh, even waves will break your launch as well so keep that in mind, guys. So that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I deeply appreciate you guys um, giving me the feedback that I need for my last video. I know some things weren't too uh, crazy with explanations. And I felt bad for you guys because I've been getting a lot of uh, requests and messages to kind of make a better video for you guys. And I personally wanted to come out and uh, do a video with the webcam, with, um, you know, a full-on demonstration for you guys. So you guys have been great. Once again, I deeply appreciate it. If you guys need any more information, by all means, head to my Discord channel. You can head to my stream when I'm streaming at night. You can give me questions, all kinds of concerns that you guys have. By all means, I will address anything that you guys have. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys again, and I will see you guys next time.